really not going to like what comes next. I hope you know that. Don't tell me. Air Cheshire has awful in-flight entertainment and horrendous food. Think about it. Those things that downed the jet aren't just going to let us land on their island. You think we can just say, hey, we're here, and they'll bring us a cake? Things look good from up here. But the further down you go, the harder it is to not notice the reality. Cheshire, look. Oh, I'm looking. <gasps> oh, fuck me. To my fantasy zone. Get ready. Alright, so straight up, not really crazy about this. Mostly for this reason and this reason alone. The camera at no point should ever move. Fucking Christ, this is a thing that needs to stop. It does not need to become a trend in video games. This is just motion sickness, the level. Like, it doesn't need to tilt. There's no reason for it to tilt. If it didn't tilt, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't mind. But the fact that it tilts is what bothers me. Because doing this makes me not want to dodge. Because I'm trying not to get fucking, like, sick, nauseous from playing this. Like, that's not the thing you want your game to do. Um, fucking, I pretty sure it was a thing where like everyone hates this level to the point where even Kamiya was like ha 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 fuck you and then brought it back in Bayonetta 2. Like I know they have plenty of segments like this. I don't remember them being as nauseating but this just fucking does my goddamn head in. Um, which yes the magic will turn into little missiles when we find an enemy worth using them on. It's kind of like, just doing this, it doesn't necessarily bother me, because it kind of makes me think of, um, the coin launcher in Brawl, honestly, where you're just busy shooting a bunch of dumb shit. Uh, the other thing that kind of irks me a little bit about this is I feel like it overstays its welcome a little bit too much. So, like, I want to say you're busy doing this for maybe, like, ten minutes. So get comfortable, because we're going to be here a while. What are the controls again? How do I shoot a missile? B or A, cool. That's all I want to know. Knock it out. Get rid of it. I think we got it. It's just like the way you get these little guys in on themselves. It just feels kind of brawl. The dialogue also gets pretty tired pretty fucking quickly, so... Sorry to say. You're just going to have to deal with hearing this for like the next 10 minutes. I'm not exactly good at these types of little shoot 'em up stuff. Like that's no secret, especially if you've seen No More Heroes. Obviously it's totally different from something like this perspective versus I guess if you want to call it a bullet hell. I would say it was hell. It was hell for me. And then every now and again you get to actually fucking play the good part of the game, which is hey, Bayonetta. Torture him, or don't. And you get back to doing this. Hooray! Uh, what what cutscene was it? It was either... I think it was the end of the last level where, like, you could hear Cereza making a whole bunch of noise, and it's like... I feel like it's super obvious that all it is is just a bunch of recycled clips opposed to a recorded for that. We're, Yay! And then the scream and I think she was saying like mummy a bunch. It just it feels so clear to me that it's like, yeah, that's just recycled clips. She didn't record with that, but I'm guessing if it was a real child. Probably for good reason. Get rid of him. Get rid of it. Which I don't think they seek. I think it actually depends on where you um, 
are positioned. See, but I'm totally fine with this because you can just sit still and they just line up and kill themselves for you. And then only a couple times you really gotta focus on dodging shit like that. It don't even matter, we got hit anyway. So you hear that line so fucking much. Like the biggest problem I have, and it's it's not so much that it's it's bad; it's just me criticizing myself. Is I feel like for things like this, I don't know, but I imagine what you're supposed to do is play more of the dodging game and less of the offensive game. That's where I focus more offensively and defensively, and I think that's what really gets me. Because like when it came to finishing Mario Land, like I had to change the way I mentally fought that boss because I'm like don't focus on where to be to hurt him focus on where his attacks are to dodge them and then just let the bullets hit them as the fight goes on I don't know if that's the way most people play or what but I feel like that's the thing I have to mentally do myself to try and make stuff like this manageable is, you know don't focus on where to go to shoot the guy, focus on where to get out of the way. Which is probably just the way bullet hells are in general. Oh my god, it just like I feel so uncomfortable playing this level. Like it's not even so much this level's bad, it's just nauseating. Alright, well that's all it misses. Yeah, there's three of them? Okay, I remember this. This is annoying, because it just goes on for a while. So, you know, when there's three of them, it's not so bad, because there's a good chance you're hitting one of the bastards. But when, as they die down, it's like, oh, now I'm kind of annoyed, because there's less things for me to hit. Like, just... You gotta focus on getting, yeah, see now I gotta find the one dude and hit him. There he is. That was a little bit late then, wasn't it? You gotta focus more on getting this guy killed. You don't have any other options for it to just coincidentally run into the way. Star Fox. Don't do that. Don't! I tapped the button. I guess I tapped it a second too late. There's a lot of stuff there. Yeah, that was kind of poor timing, I guess. Yeah, let me go for you. Definitely do without the flavor text. It's not adding any flavor, it's just. A Nothing about this level is really adding flavor. I also hope you understand what I mean when I say it overstays its welcome. Like if it were just a few minutes, it would have been okay. But we're still going. Like we're still going here. Look at that timer at the bottom of the video. You tell me how long it is as of right now. Subtract a few minutes because of the cutscene. And then you have to you have to think to yourself, would I enjoy doing this same monotonous task for this long duration of time? Because I don't. Although I guess it could give me an opportunity to talk about other things. Because admittedly, I feel like I've been kind of holding back with some of the things I've been saying trying to react to the game. Um, I feel like commentary for this OP has been kind of like all over the place and it's not meant to. They do give you these little angels, uh, you know, they're gone now, but they were there a second ago. They do give you that as a way to get you some extra missiles so you could speed this up. Basically what I was going to say is the commentary has been I'm 
happy with the way Bayonetta has turned out, but I do feel like there's been a lot of dumb points where I was just silent for no reason that have been kind of bugging me. I'm just going to save that for the credits. Talk about it, but might as well. Goal!